Increased heart disease due to PPSD, or post-pandemic stress disorder. There's been a news article floating about in Australia titled, New Disorder Striking Down Healthy People. Up to 300,000 people in the UK are facing heart-related illnesses due to post-pandemic stress disorder (PPSD), warn physicians. Experts say post-pandemic stress disorder could lead to rise in heart disease. Experts have warned that a new disorder linked to the COVID-19 pandemic could lead to a massive rise in heart disease and deaths. Mark Rayner, a former Senior National Health Service psychological therapist, said that everyone really urgently needs to get their heads around PPSD. He claimed that as many as 3 million people in Britain were already suffering from PPSD and warned it could result in a dramatic rise in health issues such as coronary heart failure. As many of you might know, a series of healthy soccer players and athletes have been collapsing recently from heart-related issues, perhaps PPSD. It should be noted, according to the article, that post-pandemic stress disorder is not yet an officially recognised mental health condition. It's strange, we've just had the world's biggest vaccination campaign, and lots of people have been given the opportunity to get their boosters. Surely everyone is in a good frame of mind now, knowing that the pandemic is drawing to a close. Why then are so many people suffering from PPSD? I just don't get it. They've had their vaccines, they're happy, they're now protected from COVID, but yet they are still getting post-pandemic stress disorder and are keeling over from coronary heart disease. It just boggles the mind that as we become a more highly vaccinated society, that is, as we become more happy knowing that vaccination is the way out of the pandemic, we still have these deep down emotional issues causing us PPSD and heart failure. Just a quick reminder to all my listeners to go out and get their booster shots so we can end this pandemic as soon as possible. Thank you for your commitment to health. In other news, yesterday a couple of flights of fully vaccinated people came into Queensland carrying the virus. New case has passengers in quarantine for Christmas. Airports on alert. All passengers who travelled on two packed Virgin Australia flights the day Queensland's border reopened have been ordered into quarantine after a fellow traveller tested positive for COVID-19. The directive on Tuesday night means the people who flew Newcastle to Brisbane at lunchtime on Monday and Brisbane to Townsville soon after will spend Christmas in quarantine. Unsurprisingly, this caused a massive uproar. Anna backflips after huge backlash. Dozens of flight passengers who faced spending Christmas in isolation will now be released from hotel quarantine in Queensland. It turns out when people get angry, the virus becomes less infectious. Now it turns out that only fully vaccinated passengers who sat in close proximity to the infected passenger will be forced to quarantine for the full 14 days, missing out on Christmas with their families, with the other fully vaccinated passengers deemed close contacts and ordered to get tested and isolate until a negative result is returned. Phew, I'm glad we sorted that mess out. In other Christmas news coming out of merry old England, Tory aides were having a merry old time at a Christmas party last year at Tory's Westminster HQ. Extraordinary image shows raucous Christmas party thrown by Tory aides in lockdown breach, with 24 people crowded together in a room in the Tory's Westminster HQ. While they were off partying, the rest of the UK were battling a surge in cases of the Delta strain, where mixing of more than two people from two households indoors was banned. People weren't allowed to make any physical contact with their grandparents locked in aged care facilities and were only allowed to communicate through a thick piece of COVID-resistant glass. If it's any consolation, all of these people in this photo probably got very, very sick or may even have been hospitalised with COVID. Anyway, from all of us here at Tory HQ, Merry Christmas!